This time on Emily and Clark's adventure, the journey begins from the Bahamas back to the U.S. After seven months of lazing about in Georgetown, Great Exuma, we pull up anchor and raise Temptress's sails for a 16-day journey back to Florida, where we'll reprovision and repair before our Central American voyage. There's some boisterous sailing ahead today. If you have trouble hearing, you may want to turn on captions for this episode. Hi, I'm Emily. And I'm Clark. We opted out of a typical American life to live more independently, frugally, and off the grid. We currently travel the world on our antique sailboat named Temptress. We make videos to capture our memories, inspire others, and show you the rewards and challenges of living this way. This, this is, is our intentional, intentional life. so much that um, if I were to be in my bed, I would fall out. So I'm in Clark's bed, um, kind of squished all the way against the wall here. Um, as you can see, yeah, but we're healed over quite far. And that groaning noise is me. Uh, steering locker here. The uh, autopilot is groaning back and forth. When I get seasick, I don't want to throw up. I just get bad indigestion, and I'm not looking forward to using that tiny bathroom when we're doing this. So, anyway, I'm going to try and keep my eyes closed and uh, just adjust a little more, and then go out and help Clark. But we've got nine hours of sailing to do today, so it doesn't really make sense for me to be up there anyway in the sun. So I'm just going to chill out down here for a little while. Oh. 
first day at sea in a year and oh I'm always feeling it. You were videoing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you hate me now? I love you. I'm so sorry, can I get you anything else? Paper towel? I have a paper towel right here. Yeah. If anybody's watching this, if this gets in a video, watch our seasickness video and you'll know why keeping your eyes closed can be important. You need a surgery on? Okay, get your surgery on. Said I put two sails on the front, but I made some other changes too that made it all balance out. And boy, does it work well. Where we are right now, for all purposes, we're in the Atlantic Ocean. Upwind of us, there's nothing until you get to Europe. So no protection at all. After we get to this island in another 32 miles, uh, we'll be turning left a bit. And when you go off the wind, it's a lot easier. The boat stands right up and uh, it's just more stable. We're seeing like 15 knots, but a lot of that is because we're going into the wind pretty fast, so we're making our own. But the, the real wind over the water is 11, 12, sometimes 13. So it's a pretty calm day, really. It's just something real magical about getting in a sailboat and using just sails and your muscles to travel around the planet. You, you uh, finish a trip and you look at a globe and you say, I went that far across the surface of the planet. It's like the difference between hiking somewhere or maybe biking somewhere and hopping in a car. Car kind of doesn't count. Well, sailing counts. <laughs> it's fun and it's a lot of work and sometimes it's a little miserable. And that's what Emily's feeling right now, the misery part of it. But hopefully she'll be feeling better soon and uh, after this she should be fine. She just needs that first day on the water to uh, get over the seasickness. How are you feeling, Emily? I'm feeling better, thank you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. There's nothing worse than seasickness. That's all right. I feel better after I throw up. Yeah. <laughs> I'll come up in a little bit. Do you want lunch? Oh, no. No hurry on that. My vomit didn't make you super Yeah, hungry. yeah, that's it. <laughs> no, I'm so glad I had breakfast. I'm feeling fine. It's uh, only 11 o'clock, though, and I only ate at, like, 9. Okay. So I'm, I'm absolutely fine for food for a while. Okay. Well, there will be lunch. <laughs> Keep doing what you're doing. I love you so much. It's bouncy Water out coming here. Water in, yeah, I can tell. Well, I'm sorry you're feeling ill, but yeah. it looks like you're feeling a little better. Yeah. This will be your one time this year. Yes. Yes, that's the goal. All right, I love you. I love you. Close Bye. the hatch on you. <laughs> Emily's up. 
How are you feeling, Emily? Better. <laughs> straight forward binocular vision They've given up on worrying about things they only lay their eggs on uh, islands with no predators and they're out to sea i think this is a bit more to see a brown booby usually you don't see them this far north he seems to be interested in our boat today i've had them uh, land on the boat when they want to go upwind, instead of flying, they just ride on the boat. They kind of know how boats work. You don't see things like this when you're in a bay. Got to get out, out where the, the real seabirds live. Island. Uh, it's what we're going to today. We're going to go another, obviously, 11 miles up. But the cool thing is, we're now behind the island, so the waves have calmed way down. This is all shallow. When you're in the Bahamas and you get to shallow water, it looks like that color. It's got that pretty, pretty light green blue to it. Long day, but we're here. 